Hi guys, welcome to Mystery Racing with me, Shaggy Scooby 66. Once again, we're with the Next Gen Racing team, and we are here at Blue Moon Speedway in Field Air. Um, so as normal, we'll go through the grid. Um, although. Although this isn't, uh, we had a, um, a a technical hitch. So after five minutes of um, qualification, uh, Silver Fox Forty found himself on pole with Sabrina second, War Beast third, Snatch fourth, Shaggy Scooby fifth, B One. Um, on sixth place, but I believe in the aborted um, um, qualification, it was B1 who actually took pole, um, so he might get the extra points. In seventh place, uh, Dazzo, and eighth on the grid is Shadow Stalker. Only eight people um, racing um, this time round, so we'll get these guys going, and we'll watch the start from here before we switch to trackside. Fairly short lap around around here, so and it's all about the slipstream. So revs are rising, and we are racing at Blue Moon. Everyone looks like they've uh, got a fairly even start. Snatch moves across, Shaggy to the outside as we go into the first corner. Oh, V1 got a little bit of a hip there from Dazzo, that just forced him into Shaggy. But no damage done. See how these go through. Shaggy goes on the grass but keeps it there, just loses the place. We've got trackside. So, up in front, Silver Fox 40, Wobby, Subertus, Snatch, B1, Shaggy, Shadow Stalker. And Dazzo at the back. Dazzo up into second place. So they go Linus Rezern as we come through the last corner. Tricky last corner. Does everyone go through it without hitting the wall? I think B1 got a touch. Might slow him down. Everyone in the uh, slipstream. Shadow. Uh, Silver Fox out front. Warbeast. Snatch pulling right up under. Slipstream, does he go for the move? Goes to the outside, doesn't get the move done. Further back, Dazzo's looking on the inside of Shaggy. Once again, Shaggy's got a better, better line, more speed through that, through that corner. Up front, uh, B1 looking at the back of Snatch. Come through a heavy break in. Oh, B1 got it wrong. Let's just go back and uh, see what happened to B1 there. Yep, got it wrong. Got too late on the brakes. And goes into the wall and down to the back. So B1 now has um, some work to do to catch up. Luckily, he's still close enough to be in the slipstream, so hasn't lost much time there. So everyone um, after third pla uh, fourth place is now promoted. That just has left a few gaps. Hopefully people can still keep in the slipstream. Fox 4D has Warbeast now. Warbeast, you see the, the power of the slipstream there. Warbeast goes for the inside. Oh, a bit of banging. Hope this doesn't end in tears. It doesn't. So they go side by side now, uh, Warbeast tucks in, Sabertus third, Snaps and Shaggy, going Hammer and Tong there, with Dazzo just behind these two. B1 at the back, and uh, it's just dropping, 
Got to be careful keeping that slipstream, or you'll soon get dropped. Little gap between opening up between third and fourth, but Sabertha seems to be um, staying in the slipstream of the two up front. Once again, so Fox Fardy goes through in first, War Beast, Sabertus, Snatch, Shaggy, Shaggy in the slipstream, goes to the outside. Many different lines to that corner. Oh, Shaggy around the outside. Briefly up into fourth place. Oh, a bit of door bang in there. But no damage done. Snatch still holds fourth. Shaggy in fifth. Tazo fifth. Shadow Stalker and B1. Still clinging onto the uh, tiny bit of slipstream. Shadow Stalker looks on the inside of Dazzo. Doesn't get it done. Gets it done now though. Snatch has gone wide. That slowed him up for uh, Shaggy and the rest of them to catch him up. Everyone stares off the wall. Now we're going three wide. Snatch, Dazzo, Shaggy. All in the line as they come over. Dazzo's got a better run, goes from 6th to 4th, fantastic racing by these three here. Snatch on the inside of Shaggy, but Shaggy keeps his line. So Dazzo 4th, Shaggy 5th, Snatch 6th. But Shadow Stalk is there, and B1's still in touch. Now that Dazzo's at the head of the line, can he make a break for it? While these guys are battling, the front three are getting away. Sabertus now has, has closed that gap. So these three cross as one, and then we've got the next group cross, crossing as one. B1's got past Shadow Stalker, and now he's looking at the back of Snatch. Shaggy's in the slipstream as we come onto the uh, straightaway. Can he do anything this time? Action's fast and furious um, around this track. Shaggy looking at the inside this time. Does it gonna let him have a bit of room? Shaggy holds his line. Shaggy bells out. But B1's gone around snatch, so B1 after that um, second lap error. He's now fighting his way back up. Up front, Sabertus has just dropped off um, again off War Beast and Silver Fox 40. But Silver Fox 40 has um, led every lap so far, which is a bit unusual, seeing as War Beast has been right behind him. But good racing from the front, th front three. Further back, Shaggy's looking out on the inside of Dazzo. Shaggy gets his nose ahead on the final corner. He does. Bit of compliance from Dazzo there. So Dazzo now is going to come under pressure from B1 and Snatch. Now that Shaggy's up into fourth place, can Shaggy make a break? But here comes Dazzo. That slipstream working again. little bit of a, a nudge there but again no damage done Shaggy cuts off the nose of Dazzo there oh did Dazzo get the oh I think Dazzo got his line wrong so, so B1's gone up Snatch looking at the inside of Dazzo now Oh, got, uh, Snatch got too early on the power there, skid it round. Dangerous corner that one, you see many people uh, spinning. Oh, and as I say that, Dazzo's gone.
So let's see. What happened to Dazza? Oh, he gets it on the grass and uh, puts the power down, and under where she goes. That's unfortunate for Dazza. He's lost a load of time now, and he's way off slipstream. So now War Beast has got in front. Let's go back and see what's happened here. Three, four, five, six. Oh, last uh, last time round on straight away. Five, six. So coming across the straight away again. New leader, War Beast. Had Silver Fox Forty. Bertus dropping back, Shaggy Scooby in clean air now, B1 also in clean air, but Shadow Stalker and Snatch now going at it side by side. We go down the straightaway into corner one. Again, two different lines being adopted, but they meet at one point. But Snatch Hold is on to sixth, Shadow Stalker and seventh. So oh, can B1 do anything about Shaggy now? And can Shaggy catch up with the guys in front? Talking about the guys in front, Bertus has dropped off and Silver Fox Ford has got back in front. Two, three, four. Oh yeah, just classic move, slipstream down the straight. Just goes round the outside. Great move there by Silver Fox Fordy. So as we come round again, yeah, they're going to change places yet again. Both have a good exit. Well, Beast is looking at the inside line. Go across the line side by side. Well, Beast going to get his nose in front of the corner. He does. Oh no, he doesn't. A little bit of a touch there. Now War Beast goes through, Silver Fox 40 uh, pulls back in line. Oh, but War Beast goes wide, gets his wheels on the corner, doesn't lose it, he's going to have dirty tyres. But War Beast, Silver Fox 40 coming into a high braking area, stay in line, Sabutus in third, Shaggy. Looks like Shaggy and B1 are closing up to Sabertus. B1's right on Shaggy's uh, boot lid now. Snatching in a bit of clear air. Shadow Stalker, come on. Stay in that uh, slipstream. Dazzo, after that unfortunate spin, we're way at the back now, out of slip, slipstream, and uh, his times are now telling. Silver Fox 40. We've lost Orbis. What's happened? Two, three. So Warbeast is out in front. Come round. Oh, he's gone wide. Oh, and he gets the power on. He's done. He's done what Dazzo did, but not as bad. But has uh, slipped down to fifth place. Oh. B1 got it wrong going into that corner. Let's see what B happened to B1 there. So B1 comes round. A bit of a nudge. Both B1 and War Beast goes into the uh, into that last corner wall. That's uh, slowed B1's momentum up. So he's gonna drop down a little bit. Hopefully he can keep in the slipstream with Shaggy. But it's all changed at the front end now. So let's have a recap. So we've got Silver Fox 40 in first place. Sabertus in second, followed by Shaggy. B1 in fourth. War Beast down now down into fifth. Snatch in sixth. Shadow Stalker seventh. Dazzo in eighth. Silver Fox 40 um, he's he's got a bit of uh, space behind him now so he's got to now try and keep his concentration Sabertus coming around the corner B1 
keeps the back end under control. B1, and I got that corner wrong there slightly, so I slowed himself down again. So he's going to come under pressure from Warbeast in the slipstream. But Warbeast once again hits the wall. Slows him down, he was gaining, and now he's lost all the momentum. So Warbeast is going to come under pressure from Snatch now. Snatch in the slipstream. Closing up under strip slipstream, goes for the inside. Just keeps his nose there. But there we are, so Silver Fox Ford is still out in front. Sabertus, Shaggy, I'm sure Shaggy looks like he's getting closer. What's the timings? Um, so Sabertus last lap was the quickest person. With Shaggy and then our leader Silver Fox Ford, so we'll rejoin the action. Come along the straightaway once more. Silver Fox Lord is still there. B1. Can B1 make any uh, use of the slipstream or is he just a little bit far back this uh, this time round? He is. Snatch looking on the inside of War Beast. Oh, I thought there was going to be a bit of a collision there, but Snatch uh, missed it. Massive bump at the um, just as you go, um, just as you started um, into the first corner. So, all depends on how you manage that bump. But Warbeast goes wide, two tyres on the grass. It's going to slow him down. Snatch is there looking, putting the pressure on. Snatch goes to the outside, which becomes the inside of the next corner. But I can't keep the momentum up. Snatch gets the back end really slidey there. But we'll see how it goes. Both get a clean exit out of the last corner. But Snatch is going to be in the slipstream. Up front, um, the Ross. First six people are all in the uh, on the straightaway together. Snatch was looking um, and he goes through on the outside. Fantastic! That's a fantastic move by Snatch there. Warbeast looks, see if he can strike straight back. But he can't. Let's just check in at the people up front. Ooh! B1 just got his braking a little bit late, closed up too much on Shaggy, so just bailed out of that rather than hit him. It's great racing that. Sabertus still trying to keep Silver Fox 4D honest. Again, B1 and Shaggy get clean exits, but B1's going to be in the slipstream. Let's see if B1 can make any. Uh, challenge this time because he's right up uh, what might be a bit late to make a move now he goes looking we can't get it done so Shaggy still holds that third place just under four and a half minutes left B1 goes on the grass, gets it wide, loses a lot of momentum. So that grow that gap grows. That gives Shaggy a little bit of breathing room. Shaggy once again seems to be closing in on Sabertus. So we'll stay with this action, see if uh, Shaggy can uh, mount a challenge to Sabertus. Shaggy looks faster through that corner. So he's 
coming down the straightaway this time. Sabertus goes defensive, Shaggy follows. Shaggy's closing, closing, closing. Can he stay there? He can. Great exit from that corner by both of them. to a heavy breaking point Shaggy's still putting the pressure on B1 looks like he's uh, closing that gap again Snatch fairly safe in 5th, Warby 6th Shadowstalker 7th and Dazza's just sitting in the pit but your leader's going to come over with Carrying on in the lead, that's lap 15 in the books. Sabertus so um, looks like he's just pulled out a little bit of a, a gap to Shaggy. Don't think Shaggy can do anything in the slipstream this time. No, here comes B1 yet again. Snatch still in fifth, War B6. And Shadow Stalker 7th. Silver Fox Fordy hasn't had much coverage, but he's uh, led almost every lap apart from a few when he was battling with War Beast. Sabertus looks like he's got it under control. Oh, B1's got ahead of Shaggy. Let's see what's happened. Let's see what how that happened. So, coming into the heavy braking zone, B1 in the slipstream goes for the inside line. Oh, a little bit of contact. Shaggy doesn't go off. Oh, that's gentlemanly. Uh, B1 gave the place back to Shaggy. Thanks, B1. Oh, Shaggy goes gets. Rear, rear wheel on the grass there I think that hits just um, knocked him out of his rhythm so Shaggy's going to be uh, slow coming down the straightaway now B1 in the slipstream as we go over the line with a minute and a couple of seconds I think this could be the last lap B1's looking at the inside There was a little bit of a touch in that corner, but no damage done. Oh, Shaggy's run wide. Oh, I don't say he's going to... Oh, he's given away third place now. Yeah, I think those knocks really uh, um, put Shaggy out of his rhythm. Uh, but B1 goes up into third place now. Shaggy's got enough... Uh, space between him and Snatch so uh, I think fourth place for Shaggy but with 10 seconds left is Silver Fox Fordy going to go over the line do one more lap he is Sabertus time's run out Sabertus finishes in second B1 third, Shaggy fourth, Dazzo fifth, Warby sixth, he'll be disappointed with that. Shadow Stalker seventh, Dazzo still in the pit, but here's your winner. Doing another lap of honour. Silver Fox Ford, he well deserved there. Well, what a fantastic race. Um, and if you like this sort of thing, join us for the second race, uh, which will be the reverse race. Um, Give us a like, give us a comment, uh, and click that bell icon to be uh, notified of any new videos I put up. But while we watch uh, Silver Fox Fordy go over the line, this is me, Shaggy Scooby, saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Well done, Silver Fox Fordy. Congratulations.